Hello everyone, in this session I am going to explain you about the VI characteristics of PN junction diode and its working. So let us start with the session. This is the PN junction diode in forward bias and this is the junction diode in the reverse bias situation. We can see the width of the depletion region in both the case. Let us discuss it in detail. So before uh, going towards the working we should know the biasing of the transistor. So when anode terminal is connected to the positive terminal of the battery and cathode terminal is connected to the negative terminal of the battery, the biasing is known as forward bias. And we get only current in the forward bias PN junction diode. Similarly, when anode that is P type is connected to the negative terminal of the battery and cathode which is N type is connected to the positive terminal of the battery, the biasing is called as reverse bias. So before applying any bias, the electron near, nearest from the N side junction will cross the junction and combines with the hole present in the P type structure and vice versa due to this process cations and anions get formed that is positive ion and negative ion get formed across this depletion region. Thus the potential barrier gets created which is called uh, as the barrier potential or depletion region. The region of the barrier potential is called as the depletion region and the potential is about 0.6 to 0.7 volt for silicon diode and 0.2 to 0.3 volt for germanium diode. To overcome this potential barrier, we need to provide more voltage than its existing potential that is whatever is the potential at this depletion region, we need to provide more voltage from this bias such that the potential gets overcome and there will be a free movement of the charge carrier from either of the uh, junction. So once we applied the forward bias, the voltage when we try to increase this forward bias, the voltage gradually increases. So till 0 0.2, 0 0.6 to 0 0.7 volt, there will be no uh, and there will be no flow of the charge carrier because the barrier potential has not overcome. Now when we increase this V bias beyond this barrier potential voltage, then the depletion region gets break and there will be free movement of charge carrier that is electron from N side to P side and from the P side the holes will travel towards the N side. And this is how we get the current that is the more we increase this bias, more will be the conductivity that we get through this diode. That means the current will goes on increasing in the forward bias condition. Now, if we keep on increasing the current, the depletion region cap. Now, what happens in the reverse bias cases? If uh, as per the reverse bias definition, that is when P side is connected to negative and N side is connected to positive, the biasing is called as the reverse bias. Now if we keep on increasing the voltage in the reverse bias as you can see that this white color is the depletion region that captures more and more in the circuit and hence the circuit will be open circuit. So we do not get any current in the reverse bias condition as you can see that the ionization process goes on increasing and it captures the complete PN junction area. So, if the reverse voltage applied goes beyond a specified maximum limit of the diode, then the minority charge carrier present collide with the stationary atoms of the electrons atoms, and the electron gets free due to which the collision creates new electron in their multiplies. This phenomenon is called avalanche breakdown. Due to this process, huge current flow through the device which will damage the device permanently in the reverse bias condition. Hence, we never use RPN junction diode in reverse bias condition. Thank you very much.